Yeah, so I got another review. Like I said, I would. Let's fix the camera. Okay, so how you doing? Okay, it's in my hair right now, and my hair feels wonderful, wonderful. I love it. Like I knew I would anyway. My twist. I'll show you the more. And then I'm putting my hair back. So bouncy and moisturized. Okay, I'm reviewing Basque Beauty. Basque B A S K is Beauty Assortment for the Sun Kissed. Beauty Assorted for the Sun Kissed. Yes. I'm looking at the label. Wait a minute. I'm blind. I'm so blind right now. It's beauty is swimming for the sun kiss. Sorry. Okay. So, let's talk about that. Her name is Rashida. I love Rashida. I told her, I was like, first off, you know, we have the R's going on in our name already. I was like, so I already like you. Two, she emailed me, asked me if I wanted to try the stuff. Which I was like, of course, and it was funny because just the day before I had been eyeing the website like, I want everything here. I wanted everything. And then she emailed me, so I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. Love her. She is a sweetheart. She's... So. Yes. Alright. You know what? I'm going to review the body thing that I got first. I got the Cocoa Nibs and Banana Sugar Sorbet. So first, let me tell you, she asked me what I want to try. I wasn't trying to be greedy. I asked for like two things. She sent me a more than that, Rashida. So I was very appreciative of that. I, I really got to try almost everything. Um, but this is the body so big. God, it smells so good. Whoops. This is it. Oh. 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 I wish you could smell it through the camera. I swear I wish you could. Mmm, it has lots of lovely ingredients. It's made with cane sugar and it has coconut oils, babasa oil, which is great, banana fruit powder, which is good stuff. Hard to find, but good stuff. I remember wanting it for, um, I want to make something for my face or my hair. It's good stuff. But this, as you can see, I like, mmm. I didn't need a lot. I really didn't need a lot. It rinsed cleanly. My skin felt great afterwards. I didn't need to put anything on afterwards. You know, basically with your sugar, your sugar scrub, use it in the shower. Um, I turn the water off and then, you know, use it. Rinse it off with warm water and then pat dry. Then I went on the website to get some more and I didn't see it there and I wanted to cry. I wanted to cry. I was like, no! Girl, you gotta make some more of this stuff. So, there's another thing here, and you can actually use this in your hair if you want to. It's called the Kukuwasu Coconilla Body Massage Serum. But, like I said, you can use it in for your skin, and you can use it in your hair too. So, it smells delicious. <sighs> this is it. I'll show you the consistency of it. It's like it melts into a light oil. God, that smells. It smells like um, like coconut. So nice massage oil. I want to show you this because you could use this after. This too goes in. Massages in. It doesn't feel sticky or anything or like or greasy. I'm sorry. It's gonna happen. I mean, ingredients in it. Look, the ingredients are all edible. It's it says for external use only, but the ingredients in it are edible. It's coconut cream and kuparasu butter and almond oil and other stuff and I don't care. So what I'm aware though, I don't care. Now I'm sure you just dying to you can't see about the hair stuff. So let's go. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to show you. We're gonna start with the thing that I wanted to try most, which was her cacao bark deep conditioner hair treat. As you can see, I've mangled the top of mine already. Let me tell you about this. This is an straw. 
see how everything comes sealed. It smells like milk chocolate. As you can see, it's thick. It's real thick. Take a little off the edge, see the consistency. It smells like milk, milk chocolate. It melts into your hair. It doesn't go in your hair. It, it's not going to make your hair feel like um a conditioner with silicone. But I will tell you this. I don't know if maybe, you know, everything doesn't work for everyone. On my hair, it made my hair feel soft. You know what? I actually mixed, make you laugh. I actually used this with her other, it's new. It's a new hair treat. It's called the Yam Nectar Intense Hair Nourisher. And you can use this alone. It has stuff like yuca, avocado, metal foam seed oil, which and which is great. Um, and some other stuff. It's, this is four ounces. Oh, it's, this is a sample. See, it's a bigger, a bigger jar. It's like a bomb. See, it's like this. You can see it already come formed back to a little puddle. I don't want to touch it because it's sticky. But it emulsifies. My hands would be sticky if I touch it. But it's it's funny, you know, it it doesn't leave anything sticky at all. It actually melts into your hair. You use a little of this from root to tip on damp, clean hair, and you can use this alone as a deep conditioner. Honestly, I probably use this as a leave-in because the ingredients are just that delicious. I make you laugh. I actually mix this with this. And this was good on its own. Whoops. This was good on its own. Can I mix this in it? Oh my god, it took it over the top. So needless to say, I'm gonna be needing some up. Because my hair felt really good afterwards. Like I said, it's not gonna feel like something with a silicone that's gonna instantly make your tangles fall apart. Leave it in there for a while. Leave it in. But my hair was so soft afterwards. I was just like, <laughs> I love this stuff. And it smelled oh, incredible. And then I twisted my hair afterwards using, she sent me a sample of her silk, and her, her silk honey latte. It's a detangling hair milk. I think this is uh, the blackberry one, which, no, is it? I think it is. Does it say? No, okay. No, no, I think it is. It's easy to get out. I don't want to like have it go all over. This is oh, okay, because you know I'm clumsy. This is a consistency. Um, very light. You can probably use it as a daily moisturizer if you wanted to, like a light hair lotion. Oh my God, this smells delicious. I'm telling you, everything smells good. Oh wait a minute. Oh, is this how the the ice like the iced tea one? There's a tea, a a sweet country tea one with lemon. This might be it. Wait, so now what? Now I'm gonna put this on my hair. I like this stuff too. But there is a blackberry scent, which I have to get. Yeah, look at it. I only use, I use this much and I was actually using a lot. And this is only two ounces, so I use less than, hell, less than an ounce on my hair. You see this right here? That's how much I use. So like I said, if you want a daily moisturizer or something to detangle your hair with after washing, some good stuff. But you know what also has slip? I'll make you laugh. Where is it? The, was this the one I used? Yes. The Palm Tapioca Hair Cream. It's a deluxe hair cream. Smells delicious. You don't need a lot. This is it. See? So I'm trying to get the hair off. It emulsifies so easily into your, your hair. And it seems like it has slip. I wonder why. Whatever is the stuff in it. See? When I put this on, um, on this SU's family, I put this on my hair. I was able to detangle through it easily, too. Oh, Lord. This smells like, um, like an almondy sweetness. That's it. Don't need a lot. That's a good heavy moisturizer. You could use like you could if you want to get this. You could use the hair milk will go first, then a hair butter, and then if you want to seal with an oil, which I did, castor oil. You know, castor oil is what I love. Oh, I forgot to put the. I'll do it afterwards. 
um there are two more things here there's the java bean and honey hair palm which is like a pomade i use this my nephew came over and he was like why does it smell like coffee in here i was like it's my hair stuff he's like oh it smells good little brat <sighs> thank god i got some starbucks waiting for me after this video this is it it's a it's thicker than a hair cream but it's not waxy and it's not heavy see i, I man i put this i put this at my roots i put it on the tips and it see it's melting already it's melting into my hands so like i said it's not gonna leave your hair greasy not my hair's not greasy at all even with the castor oil my hair is not greasy at all jesus that smells good it'll wake you up in the morning if anything that's that Here's another hair butter. I haven't used it yet, but I played on it. It's the Seven Fold Butter Blend Whipped Hair Butter. It's lightweight. Ooh, Blackwood Rose. Mm. Oh, that smells good. Let's do that. See? Oh, yeah, this is light. See? You can use the... the I, I saw that it was lighter, so I was like, oh, let me wait and try that later. See how it melts so easily into my hand? So if you wanted something that, like, say if the cream was too heavy for your hair, you could try this. It has lovely ingredients. Palm oil, jojoba oil, shea mango. Well, look at all of the ingredients in this line. No fillers, no junk, nothing bad, you know, as it were. Everything, I'm pleased with everything thus far. And the last thing I will show you is the Sweet Man of Hair and Scalp Serum, which I use so much of. It smells pepperminty. It's like a oil. Pump a little out. It's like this, like a thicker oil. I put this on my scalp. It smells like sweet peppermint tea, like like fresh peppermint. And it says best use on damp hair as a leave-in treatment. I put this on my scalp. I massaged it in. I forgot to put it on this part. So after my whole head was done, I went back and pumped this in. Literally, I put it right like this and pumped. A little bit and then massage. Needless to say, it feels delicious. It has on, like I said, peppermint and lavender in it. So if you're sensitive to peppermint oil, maybe you shouldn't use this. I love this too. I love everything, honestly. And I'm one that. It may not seem like I'm hard to please, but I am kind of picky, especially, and there's so many lines on it. Like there, there are so many things out right now that everything is a whipped butter or something whipped with oils. And uh, uh, honestly, to me, a lot of stuff is the same. I can do some of that myself. This line is just more than just whipped butters and oils. This is I love everything. Everything like is everything is mixed well, is blended well, very well. I'm putting the lid back on here. So, if you look up reviews for it so far, you're gonna see good things. There's a long thread on this line on natu on naturallycurly.com that tempted me, and I was like, dang, I want some stuff. So yeah. So, if you only get a few things from the line, I'm going to say go with the Palm Tapioca Hair Cream, the Deep Conditioning Hair Treat, and the Yam Nectar YAM Intense Hair Nourisher. Those are my favorite things. And I shop for stuff already, you know me. But I, actually, I love everything. I really do. And like I said, customer service, she's off the hook. You know, when she was shipping things, she's like, it was a little delay. She said, I'm sending it out next week. When she sent it out, she let me know. She hit me up. She's like, did you get everything okay? Did you like it? So, your sheet is off the hook. So, yes. Post a link for that. What the hell color is this I'm wearing? I don't know. It's finger paints. It's finger paints. Um, oh, it's watermelon. Watermelon something. I don't know. The pink. And then this one finger has uh, <laughs> an OPI. The Muppets from the Muppets line I got. It's one of the pink ones. Yeah. I had the, oh, the Nicki Minaj line on last week, but I took it off. 
I just wanted old pink nails all of a sudden. I don't know. Maybe I'm regressing back to the 80s. And then I wanted to do, I was like, oh, black will look nice with this. So I went to Sally's. I was going to try to do, like, get a stripe and polish, a black stripe and polish. And it looked like it was sitting there since the beginning of time and looked older than Jesus and Methuselah. So I left it there. So somebody, can you recommend a, you know, how, you know, stripe and polish or a brush or something I can use? I use a regular nail polish and get a, a brush, a thin brush, and do a design. Because I really want to try something different. Then I was shot to hell when I saw those dried up looking bottles of polishes. Oh, and yes. This is Red Dwarf Lip Cream by MAC, the Pro Longwear one, I think. And this, if you can see it, is Milani Fantastic. what's it called? More Fantastico, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. And that is it, kitties. That is it, that is it. I'm going to take my little play for these back into my bowl. I love this stuff. You don't need a lot, to, you know, at a time. Have to pick up the still seven that I dropped. So yeah, that's it.